Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In popular demand, you wanted a FDG illegal jobs video. So that's what I'm bringing you today. Fat Duck Gaming is one of the biggest GTA 5 5M RP servers in Australia and New Zealand. Now I have a review video as well as a starter guide on FDG. So go and check them out after you've watched this video. To start off, I'm gonna mention the Chop Shop. The Chop Shop is a different sort of Chop Shop to what you're used to. You don't drive the car and park it and then start cutting it up you go to a specific place on the map which i'll show you now and then you do jobs and you collect car parts once you collect the car parts you then go to the recycle center which i'll show you where that is as well and you go and sell that there this is probably the lowest on the tier list of making money with illegal jobs and i don't really recommend it it's a bit of fun but Anyway, on to the next thing, weed and drug dealing. Drug dealing is super easy in Fat Duck Gaming. All you gotta do is find a supplier. So a supplier would look like a gang or a person who has access in order to be able to make drugs. As you can see here, I demonstrated how to sell a drug. You just walk up to an NPC and then you press G, flex G, and you sell them the drugs. Now you can do this in any region except the north. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like these videos. I'm keeping this one short for you so you can get right into the RP experience. Like I mentioned before, in order to get drugs, you've got to buy them from gangs. So it does require a little bit of RP and a bit of uh, know-how in order to interact with gang members and then they will sell you your desired drug. LSD is a class A drug so you make the most money and weed is a class C drug so you make the least money. I'm not sure about in between but it's a good sort of way if you want to make money sell class A drugs but obviously it will incur higher penalties as well as the airport. If you sell at the airport you get a little bit of a bonus but it's a huge hot spot. Now last on the list is robbing houses. I'm sure there are more ways to make money illegally in fat duck gaming including robbing banks and that sort of stuff but I'm only covering the basics of this video and the last on the basics is robbing houses. Robbing houses is the most self-explanatory job you can do. You walk up to a house with a lockpick in a specific zone and you flex the lockpick in your hotbar and then you start to rob the house. Now when you rob the house you can get things such as rare Pokemon cards which sell for upwards of $300,000 or you can get other things like watches which is two grand and etc etc. Robbing houses was the way I made all my money and now I've just moved on to hunting as I've been doing it for videos. Now I hope you liked the video. In this video we covered drug dealing, the chop shop which isn't really a chop shop you just go and collect parts and I'll just give you another sneaky tip for that. Take a car with a large trunk space as you can see in some of the footage playing behind me i um i fill up my inventory space really quickly as well as robbing houses and as i mentioned before there are other things like bank robbing and that sort of stuff and that requires things like thermite drill bits laptops and that sort of stuff so if you want a video on that leave a comment in the description a comment in the description a comment in the comment section and a like and i'll might make a video on how to rob a bank properly. Now, thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.